Hello weeders and welcome back to the greenhouse. I'm Beth Myers Shanai with the Oregon Department of Agriculture's Noxious Weed Control Program and I'm here to show you another noxious weed specimen, another aquatic plant called flowering rush. This is one of the highest priority noxious weeds to keep out of our state and unfortunately it has been found in just a couple of locations. So we'd like to make sure that we don't have any else lurking out there and we'd like you to keep an eye out for it. It is um, not truly a rush because it doesn't have round leaves. It's got triangular stems. I'll try to rotate these around and they're kind of filled. There's, um, there's no V in deep V indentation here. It's almost kind of an equal little pyramid all the way around. And it grows much taller than this. Um, it can actually grow quite tall to get up out of the water. And I do have um, a stalk from a previously flowering plant here. So I can show you a little bit of what the flower head looks like um, after the flowers are gone, unfortunately, but you can kind of get an idea of what the shape is. And this is probably about three feet tall. So you can see that this plant actually can get pretty high up there. And when it is flowering, it has three pink flowers and three, three pink petals and three pink sepals. So it looks like a flower that has six petals because really they're all the same color. Technically they're different plant parts though. So um, we, this has been found in the Columbia River. There is an infestation of it, pretty large one in the Yakima River that flows into the Columbia in Washington State and then comes down. Um, and a few plants have now been picked up in Oregon, although there's been very extensive surveys of it and very, um, quick treatment of the plants that have been found um, by covering them actually with some mats to keep them from growing anymore. And um, it's also been recently found in one ornamental pond in Klamath County. So uh, that makes us think there probably could be some more ornamental plants out there if it's been moved from anywhere else where it's been a popular ornamental. It is, it is a pretty showy flower, but it does, um, fill in very quickly once it gets into these shallow water habitats and it can um, change shallow open water habitats to just completely vegetated habitats. If you want to look and see what it could possibly do in Oregon, uh, research information on Flathead Lake in Montana and you'll see how crazy this plant can get once it gets started. So it's really important as an ape species to find all of this and let us know. If you think you found some, feel free to go to OregonInvasivesHotline.org and put a pin on a map and snap some pictures of what you have and somebody can get back to you to help verify whether you found a new site of flowering rush in Oregon. I also wanted to show you a little bit of how this plant is so successful in its growth. This is actually a whole little series of bulblets starting from this plant it sends out more and more bulblets and grows out in kind of a chain. And each one of these can break off and start a new plant. And as you can see, some of them are already reaching up to start um, growing up into a new plant. They'll either stay chained together and keep growing deeper and deeper. And then the plant material will just grow up until it reaches the surface. It can go 20 feet underwater. So literally one plant sticking out of the water here might just be the tip of the iceberg of a whole chain of plants that have gotten started further on. I'm going to stick this one back in here. And I thank you for joining me today to learn a little bit more about flowering rush. We've got a triangle stem. We've got a multi um, flower flower head that would have pink flowers on it when it's blooming. And this one has grown up about three or four feet when it bloomed. And we really want to know if you see it. So thanks again for joining me in the greenhouse today. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.